Chapter 11, Creating and Placing Openings. At this point in the walkthrough, you should have created north wall and placed it on the floor plan image. We are now going to create and place openings in this wall. Once you're on the Place Wall screen, proceed to the SP icon at the top of your screen. Click on this icon. You are now on the Schedule Placement screen, screen SP. This screen will list all the openings in the wall takeoff that you are working on. Only the one wall name should be listed at this time because you have not entered any openings yet. Note, now would be a good time to pause the walkthrough and bring up the Help screen by pressing F1. Give yourself a chance to become familiar with some of the features that this screen has to offer. We are now ready to create an opening. Click on the Insert button on the bottom of your screen. A screen will open up and ask you what type of placement you would like to create. Opening, Vertical, or Rebar. Click on the Opening button and this will bring you to the Opening Schedule screen. This screen will show you all of the openings that have been created for this project. It will display the basic information of those openings such as description, length, height, elevation, and shape. Click on the Insert tab located at the bottom of screen OS. This will now take you to the Update Opening Schedule screen, screen UOS. Screen UOS is where you will enter all of the pertinent information for an opening such as dimension and height. The cursor should be flashing on the Description field at the top of the UOS screen. Enter Exterior Door as your description. Press the Tab key and the cursor will move to the Schedule Description field. You can fill this field with the information right off of your blueprint. For our purposes, enter EXTDR in the field. You will see later on in the program how having something entered here can be very useful. Now, tab down to the Length field and enter the length of 3 feet. Use the Tab key and move to the Height field. Enter 7 feet 4 inches. The last field that must be entered for every opening is the Elevation. Hit the Tab key one more time and it will bring you to the Elevation field. The correct elevation is very important for an accurate takeoff. If the wall has special pieces, odd courses, or banding material that intersects with an opening, the program will deduct those materials from the takeoff for you. Set the elevation for this door to zero. The program will now deduct the flashing as well as the other materials from the base of this opening. You should also take note of the shape field on the right. There are options for rectangular, arched, and circular. Now, we are going to put some flashing at the top of the door. On the lower left side of the screen is the entry field for top flashing. Click on the down arrow to the right of the empty field. This will bring you back to the Project Materials screen. Double click on the flashing material. You should now return to the Update Opening Schedule, screen UOS, and the top flashing field should no longer be blank. The flashing is now in this field. The flashing is going to extend 8 inches on both sides of the opening because the default setting for the bearing is 8 inches. This bearing can be set to any length that you choose. Before you click on OK and save this opening, I want you to look at some of the other tabs or options that are available at the top of this screen. 
These tabs will allow you to enter the materials that would go around or in an opening. The first one is Openings, which you are currently working on, and is followed by Sills and Caulking, and then Jam Materials Override. Next is Panel slash Pilaster. Panels are nothing more than openings with material filling them, and pilasters are panels that are projected from the wall. This is followed by Frame slash Jam Rebar, and then Adjustments. Adjustments is the catch-all for design elements that may be unique to a project or have not been written into the software as of yet. Let us proceed. Click on the OK button and you will return to the opening schedule screen. Your exterior door is now listed in the schedule. Now, let's make some changes to this door. Add a little detail. Make sure the door is highlighted and click on the Change button. You are now back on screen UOS. Click on the down arrow next to the BB slash precast slash odd field and you will open the project materials screen. Select the medium weight bond beam by double clicking on it and you return to UOS with the bond beam now in the field. There is a bond beam bearing field to the right, which has a default of 8 inches. Click on the down arrow next to the grout field and select the 3000 PSI grout. Next, click on the down arrow next to the rebar field and select the number 4 bond beam rebar. When back on UOS, you can see that there is a field to the right of the rebar field that will allow you to enter the quantity of rebar. Now click on the Jam Materials Override tab so that you can enter some jam pieces. Once open, make sure the Override button is selected and the Jam Material fields will open up. Click on the down arrow to the right of the first course left field under regular inside. This once again opens up project materials. You will need to mark a new material from the standard material database. Mark the 8 inch medium weight CMU bullnose and click on copy mark materials. You will now have the bullnose listed on Project Materials. Double click on the MW Bullnose to select it for your jam. You will return to UOS and see the Bullnose listed in the first course jam field. The second course is next. Click on the down arrow to the right of the second course left field. A half Bullnose is going to go in this field. You are going to copy and change a material for this one. Highlight the bullnose and do a right click and select Insert. Click on Copy Material when the Update Project Material screen opens. You have now created a new material that at this time is identical to the original. This new material now needs a new material ID to distinguish it from the original material. Simply add a new character such as an H for half to the end of the material ID. Now, find the length field and change it from 16 inches to 8 inches. Don't forget, when creating a new material, you would also need to enter a new price and lay rate. Now, click on the OK button to save this new material. You will now see it listed in your project materials. Double click on this new material and you will return to UOS. Now, select the half bull nose for the first course right and the full bull nose for the second course right. When you're finished with this, Click on OK. 
You have returned to the opening schedule which has the one door listed. Click on the close buttons until you reach the PW screen. Position your floor plan so that the left side of the building is facing you and angled slightly down. You will want to zoom in enough so that you can see an exterior door on the print. Select the Place Schedules tab in the lower left corner of the screen. Your walls should now go transparent so that you may see the floor plan better. Select Open for openings at the top of this tab. Next, click on the down arrow to the right and select the exterior door. Underneath the opening selection is the offset selection. For the purposes of the walkthrough, I am going to have you select left side of opening.